Hello, welcome to another episode of My Summer Car. So, today we're going to learn to tune each carburetor. Yeah, so we're going to install each one. And we'll go through the process. And yeah, so hopefully this helps you guys get a little more into the tuning side of things. So you haven't got to keep wasting money out for the Taris. So if we get, so we start off with the basic. You know, it's the one that you start off with the game anyway, so makes sense doesn't it so if we get that done then we can get the engine warmed up hopefully it's untuned because it's been installed if not we'll untune it ourselves it won't take long it's just a quick couple of scrolls on the screwdriver and you're good to go make sure they're done up properly because if there's a loose bolt when you're driving it will eventually pop off and start a fire in your engine i've done it loads of times so yeah just double check your screws and that obviously we ain't driving today we're just tuning. So if we get this started and warmed up and that, she should start. There we go. Wow, look at the battery. Shit. Well, that charge up now. So if we just let this warm up a minute, and I'll see you in a sec. All right, there we go. She was warmed up. So let's put the choke in. Let's get out of driving mode. And yeah, so she's all tuned up, so we're gonna untune it. If we get our screwdriver quick. So what it is is a screw on the carb, yeah? It's just somewhere that there is. So when you scroll up, if we take note of this, if we can just get it there. So we're gonna scroll up and that's gonna go up, yeah? So that means it's gonna be richer. That's what causes your backfiring. So if we go all the way. Right, we're at 18 now, so there you go. And she's cut out. So, if we scroll it down just a tad, just so we can get it started again. Keep scrolling, keep scrolling, keep scrolling. There we go. Right, so she's going to start coming back down now. So, it's best to have it, I think, it used to be between, like, 13.1 and 12. But now it's, like, 13.1 and 14. So what we'll do is, if we quickly tune it, we'll take it to 13, and we'll see, yeah. What we'll do is, I think we will drive to Flataris, so we, because we're right next to the main road then, and it'd be easier to take it for a drive and see the difference between 13 and 14. You know, what, what how it works, like what the acceleration or everything is by having it richer or leaner yeah so if I pack all this stuff up and then I'll take a drive to Flataris and then at least we'll be on the main road so we can test each carburetor yeah we'll test this one on the way there on the dirt roads we've lost a lot of power now obviously because we haven't got our racing carb in which is a, a lot more difficult to tune if you don't know because there's four screws on that we might as well leave the hood here we don't need it Alright, so, yeah, she's alright, let's put a seatbelt on, alright, lovely, let's go, yeah, so it's like a difference between acceleration, really, 13 or 12, so let's have a look, see, what have we done, oh, that's your exhaust, yeah, Definitely lost power just by switching the carb. We'll take her to the main road and see, yeah? So I'll see you guys there. We'll see if we can pop up some wheel spins or something. Alright, so I'll see you guys in a minute. Alright, here we are. We're at the road. And our air fuel ratio is around 12.7 and 13.1. So what we do is we drive halfway to Vitaris, pull over, and then we'll switch it up to 14. And yeah, we'll see how much of a better performance we get, or if any, if any, yeah. Right, well we've got a wheel spin. So that's our acceleration right there. So we're at 100. Alright, so if we stop here, 
we got 140 yeah from that little corner so from here right she shouldn't roll let's put a handbrake on just in case I wonder if we can reach it from here so if we put it up to 14 yeah so it's at 13.1 we go up to 14.2 so it's come on where are you there you are nearly there that's a bit higher is it no that's about right 14.2 14.5 right yeah so we'll have it like that let's put this away and we'll see what the uh, see how better it is if it's better anything coming no we're good Right, let's go. Yeah, there's a bit more of an acceleration boost towards the end of the RPM gauge. Well, it's not too bad. 14.3 we hit. So there you go. So the lower, the leaner you have it, the less power you got. But the richer you have it, the more power you got. But also overheats quicker. We should be alright because we got our hood off, so we shouldn't be getting any rising temperatures. Right, there's a bridge, so we're coming up to Pratara's now. Alright, not bad. So, yeah, that's how you tune the first one. Your very basic air filter and carburetor. So if we go up to the tires then we put the other one on. It's basically the same process with the other one. I think it's a single screw. All that. It's uh, the last one that's going to be a pain in the butt. Is he open? He is. Wicked. So we just put up inside. Lovely. Right. We'll leave her running. Actually we can't. We've got to switch the car. So we turn her off. Hopefully the engine stays sort of warm. So we want this one next. So let's jump out. We we'll grab number eight. So I think it's just four screws or four bolts, four nuts. The crowd shouldn't be easier. There it is. Lovely. Go on the other side. Listen to that exhaust cooling off. And that one. Come on, where's the other one? We know you're in there. There you are. Perfect. Put it that way. There we go. We got it. And we just chuck you in there. Let's get the other one out. Now this one should be untuned. I've just bought this one. So it hasn't ever been installed in the car on this game. There we go. One, two, I wonder if we get the other ones from here. Oh, perfect. Right, there we go. Let's double check all the other bolts quick. Make sure none of them have decided to come undone. No, nope, we're all good. Right. So let's get started. Let's get a screwdriver out. Let's get you out of the way. We'll put you there as you'll be going on next. Right, let's see. There we go. Right, so she's going to cut out. She's too low, I think. No, she all right? You can see by the rev gauge there. Below 10. Obviously, the lower you tune it, the lower the revs, eventually it won't be able to idle on its own. And obviously, the higher it goes, the higher the revs. So you can hear, if you haven't got the gauge, you can sort of hear it by sound. But you've got to know that sound. So you've got to be doing it for a while to have that familiar sound. You can also tell by the smoke. If it's too rich, it'll be black. Vice versa with low. It won't be black, it'll be sort of like that. I don't know. I'm not a mechanic, I just play games. So, yeah. So, are we still warm? We are. Right, so we'll just tune up again. So, 
Is it just one screw? Let's have a look, see. If we get a bit closer. There's one, there it is, yeah, so it's just one screw. So, to make it rich, you want to scroll up. Yeah. See if you can listen out for that engine sound change. So we're at 15 now. And the rev, see that? Just above 10. So if we want it, where do we want it? We want it around 13, don't we? 13 and 14. So scroll down. We can get it just idling at, that's actually a good little pinpoint there. Get it idling at 10. So let's go down, just a couple more scrolls. There you have it. 14.1, 13. So idling just, just around 10, what's it at? Yeah, that's not bad, that's a good little pinpoint. So there you go, a little tip. Found by random. Right, so that's that one. We'll take it out for a drive again. Just to make sure there's no backfire or any other shit. Definitely a little bit of a better performance. Ooh, that's new. Wow. There's a ditch there. We've got to be careful. We didn't bend our any axles, did we? Alright. That was embarrassing. <laughs> right, let's get to the main road. And we'll go back the other way. What we'll do is we go back one way. If we go to that little pit stop we went to. And then, um, yeah, we'll tune it up to where well, we don't need to. Let's see if it's alright. No nitro, so we're alright. We've got our hood off, so we're not going to overheat. Where's our little pit stop? That's it there, isn't it? There we are. Brakes are good. Ooh. Yeah, not bad. Right, so if we go back and then we put the final one in, that's going to take... Um, a little bit extra. We're going to go for the advanced tuning. Yes, we're not going to do the basic where you can just go one screw. We go advanced so you can finally do it yourself properly. Yeah, we're good. Let's go. This is not a bad little motor. I'm quite happy with her this uh, this time round. We will destroy her soon, before probably the end of this one. When we, just before we start season two, we probably will destroy this car. We'll come up with other ways. That is how you do it. It's like we're sort of going uphill on this way, isn't it? And it's raining. Well, we should have sort of overshot that. There we go, that's better. Ah, oh, there we go. Right, we're back. So let's get this final one done. Mm. 
It looks like we've got a headlight out. And we stalled it. Right. We've got a headlight out. Oh yeah, she's blowing. Alright, well, we've got to change that at some point. Let's turn the battery off for a minute and get this last one changed. Right, so we want to... Yeah, that one. So, final time and hopefully you guys can start tuning your own carbs and not having to spend, what is it, like two grand at Fataris. I think we just undone the wrong bolt there. We'll find out in a sec. Yeah, we did. What bolt did we just undo? We didn't undo the wrong bolt. Well, we did. Where is it? Ah, we didn't undo it properly. There we go. Right, so put you back in the car. And then we put this one on. This one's got four screws, yeah? In fact, I think I'm going to take the nitrous. Do we want to take the nitrous off? Mm, no, we'll leave it on. So put that in there, get it done up. Four bolts, make sure they're all done up properly. Maybe at the end of the episode I'll show you what happens when one bolt's loose. Uh, let's have a look, where is it? No, yep. There we go, right, let's get started up. And then we get her untuned and then retuned properly and calibrated. Any time now. There we go. Right, so she should be. Yep, she's good. Right, so let's get our screwdriver out. Now, we want to scroll up as many times for each one until it feels like it doesn't go any further yeah so if we, if we do one full rotation like that on each one then that should be maxed out so where's this one so it's about halfway so that'd be the, the same like that just about it's about 60 scrolls so we do that on all of them like so I well, know this takes long I'm sorry for this bit but I want to show it all properly no cutting corners and shit so if it doesn't work for you it won't be my fault you know so if we do that so that's one full rotation there has it got to be one full rotation, but it's just to be safe to make sure you've definitely got them all. You know, all maxed out, all as far as they can go. And then, what we want to do is, we just keep going. Nearly there. Right, there we go. Yep, she's backfired. Now what you want to do is, that was up, yeah, you scrolled up on each one. Now, yeah, keep scrolling up. Yeah, but well now what you want to do is on each one you want to scroll down. I'll go two at a time on each. So one, two, one, two, one, two. Yeah, and just keep an eye on that until it all matches. Yeah, eventually it come down and it'll all be even. Yeah, so you'll have an even calibrated carburetor. Yeah, so just keep doing that. One, two. One, two, one, two, one, two. Eventually it will come down, I promise. One, two, one, two, one, two, one, two. Still not coming down. One, two, one, two, one, two, one, two. Still nothing, just keep going, it will do it. One, two. One, two. It just takes a lot longer because you've got four screws instead of one. I think we're starting to get a change. One, two. 
one two 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 still nothing you're being a bitch now aren't you one two 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 why aren't you coming down? Is she fucked up again? She did this earlier where she just wouldn't change. One, two, 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 one, two. Oh, we've got a change. She's starting to come down. There we go. So yeah, it just takes time. So we want to about. We still got a way to go. So for if it starts that, just go one, 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 one. It take longer, but you want to do it properly, just so you can keep it and get it perfectly where you want it. One, one, one. So we're at fourteen. What are our revs at? Just above ten. So let's keep going. We want it sitting at ten. One, 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 one. Oh, nearly there. One, 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 one. So we're at thirteen point. Well, yeah, it's at thirteen, so that'd do, I think. So obviously, it's different carburetors, so maybe. I don't know, is that choking? As long as it's bouncing on 10, it doesn't matter, each card's different, so, you know. So, if we put that away, let's rev her up. Yeah, okay. So, let's take it for a drive. Out in the rain. Put everything back where it's safe. Yeah, we will be best to put a seatbelt on now. We'll try not to reverse into the ditch this time. Go right. All right. So what we do is we drive all the way down to our little pit stop, and then we'll undo a bolt and just show you what happens, and then we call it an episode. If we don't stall it. There you go. Let's check again. We should be alright. Oh, nice. Second gear burnout. That was pretty decent. I might say so myself. Obviously, it's the best carb in the game. So you're going to get a lot more performance out of it. So yeah, hopefully this helps you tune your um, racing car brain. That should help with the nitrous too. Because if it's badly tuned, your nitrous will cause you to not gain speed, but to just rev up. It like slips gears and just revs. I think I've uh, shown you before. I'll sh maybe in another episode when we do a full tune. Oh, damn, we missed a turn. There we go, right. So let's quickly go and undo a bolt and I'll show you what happens if you don't do it up properly. So what do we want? I'm going to remove this. 
There we go. And you. There is one number eight. We can probably do it from here. Let's have a look. Uh, undo mode. There we go. We're going to drive back to Flitaris. Let's get into driver mode. Yep. Lovely. Right. Here we go. Anything coming? Oh, that was good. It's got a lot of power for some reason. I don't know if it's because of the tyres. Oh, there you go. Let's see how far we can get. Oh, it's raining. They put the fire out for us. We haven't even got a fire extinguisher, so I won't be saving it. Alright, so yeah, if you don't do your bolts up on your carburetor, this is what you'll end up with. Where is it? Did it fall out somewhere over there? Is it still on the road somewhere? Can't see it. Must be in the engine somewhere. Oh wait, I think I see it. So, I wonder if we could put it on and drive while it's on fire. If we hurry up. So one bolt. Two bolts. The battery's still working, so three bolts. Four bolts. Quick, let's go. Ah, oh, the start is gone. Come on, start. Come on! Yeah, the start has burnt out. Well, that burnt out pretty quick, actually. Alright, well then, I guess we'll call it an episode there. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you learned something. I hope you can now tune your own carburetor with ease. And, uh, yeah, if you're new to the channel and you found it helpful, maybe hit that like button, consider subscribing. As always, thank you for watching. I love you all, and I'll see you in the next one.